I was going to try and do some cheesy invisible gag if this movie was crap, but it's not, so I'm not going to. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for The Invisible Man, the recent, recent, recent remake of the H.G. Wells novel. Last time that they really did it just sorely about the character was Hollow Man, which had evil Kevin Bacon in it. This movie, I thought, was going to be shit. There was a lot of dumb stuff that they showed in the trailers. They cut all that stupid shit out because this movie is actually not as stupid as it should be. This movie actually has a bit of elements from Sleeping with the Enemy, that Julia Roberts movie, because the film starts off with Elizabeth Moss escaping from her kind of controlling husband and this opening scene is actually very well done it's very tense it already establishes the tension and kind of the filmmaking tactics that they use later on when the invisible man does start to appear and i actually enjoyed the opening it's probably one of the most intense parts of the film everything from her leaving the house to her getting away is just nail biting it's really really good there is some little bit of downtime when they find out that her husband supposedly died seeing as i know a little bit about the funeral service now because my fiance is a funeral director there should have been an executor or there should have been a lot more paperwork signed than just yeah he's dead here's money I feel like there should have been a little bit more from that this film does ask you to suspend your disbelief at times not anywhere near as badly as it should. The idea of the Invisible Man back in the time that when HGLs wrote it was truly horrifying because there was no way you could really tell. You would just be considered a specter. You could be considered a ghost. Doing this story in modern time with modern technology, being able to kind of oust the Invisible Man at almost every single corner. The director of this film, Leo Wano, I can't pronounce his name, he actually does a pretty good job of pretty much answering those questions as they come up. Does he get every single situation correctly in terms of giving a proper answer as to how He's still able to act in the way he is? Not entirely. Does he make up for that with really intense filmmaking? Yes, he does. His camera work is done exceptionally well as it constantly kind of makes you feel like there's another person in the room. These slow pans and these um, rack focuses that make you feel like there's some supposed to be something in the room, but there isn't, but is there? And that's the primary focus of what this film was trying to be was trying to make you feel like there was always someone there with her. And every time Moss gets stressed out, and every time she's scared, you feel scared. She properly portrays that, she expertly portrays that, and the filmmaking and how they put it together properly does that as well. For instance, you know that scene where she walks out onto the porch and she breathes and like they're showing off their breath, and there's the breath behind her in the trailer? However, in the trailer, it makes it sound like he's like, <sighs> he's not like that, you just see it and that's it. Admittedly, the trailer for this film did not do this film any favors, so don't base your thoughts on the movie off this trailer like I did. The film does run a little long admittedly but it still does keep your focus and your tension at an all-time high. I think that this is actually a very well done reboot. In a land of crap ass reboots and crap ass remakes this is actually pretty well done. Is this film full of some stupid bullshit? Yeah there are some parts in the film that kind of really took me out of it for a brief second but then the filmmaking and the writing was able to bring me back in. The ending has a few too many twists, I would feel, but I still enjoyed it. This movie really blew away my expectations. I wasn't expecting it to be good. I was expecting this thing to be shit. I was pleasantly, pleasantly surprised. I really hope that the director of this film gets to make more movies. I reviewed his first film, Upgrade, just recently. You guys should really see that. So in the end, I'm going to give The Invisible Man a 5 out of 7. I'm... I'm really surprised. I, I enjoyed this movie. This is a good thriller. It doesn't have jump scare bullshit in it. It actually does get under your skin. It's an enjoyable movie. I'm I'm really surprised. I wasn't expecting that. Anyways, guys, that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.